central to what I do as an artist is drawing. Um, in sketchbooks or on paper, and working large, working small, and I've really focused my process on to the referencing George Seurat style of drawing, using cross-hatching and circular movements and layers of fixative and light and dark, um, and working with all those quite traditional formats, but trying to use more contemporary subject matter. In, in addition to that, I, I sort of bulk out my projects with bringing in various partners to complement my, my practice. So I have these partner organisations which support what I do and then I allow something to evolve um, the, the, the project and the idea through workshops and public and community engagement, which is what this project is as well. This is the Yorkshire Sculpture Triangle's community engagement programme. I think art is a social, you know, it is a social thing because it brings people together. It is a, that, if art has a function, it is that for me. It is, is the thing of bringing people together. This job opportunity came up basically to be lead artist for the Sculpture Triangles um, community engagement programme and I applied for it and it was so much what I already do that I was I, I got the job basically because I was already in place working in community groups, knew of community groups, I knew of organisations like the WEA who could support going into community groups in Wakefield and Leeds. So it, it was just kind of made for me in a way. We had artists, Jolie and Gillian Brent, they, they worked with the community groups in the Sculpture Park and the Hepworth delivering workshops based on figure process and material which were the positively reduced concepts that I derived from Rebecca Warren's commissioned piece at the Henry Moore Institute as part of the Body Extended Exhibition. All the workshops from there on had to have that very basic theme which was quite broad which anybody could relate to and, and adapt in their own way. Their initial aims were, were, uh, were big. Um, eight community groups, two exhibitions. I got the job off two weeks after the interview, I think it was, and, and, and then it had to start. So uh, bringing in WEA really helped in providing time and people to deliver courses or to change their existing courses to accommodate the community groups and to accommodate this project. So that really helped free up a lot of time. I was conscious of the fact that we need to get people to the venues, and we, we, along with the artists. We had to work within a specific time scale because of all the community groups that we were working with and their regular hours have been between 10 and 3, so it had to be within those hours. So, uh, yeah, and there were a lot of obstacles, actually. Axis providing a free space to this, so, you know, it was a brilliant opportunity in that it enabled us to, to get all the work made by eight community groups, six artist-led workshops, various places around the region to get all of that work, every drawing made and put it on display, you know, and that's, that's been valuable for us to then curate and select from this collection for a, a, an exhibition in, in Leeds in January in a, in a smaller gallery format. So yeah, that's been the valuable opportunity that Axis has provided us with. With this project, um, it's uh, the first time we've developed a specific community engagement project for Yorkshire Sculpture Triangle and it's really been part of a project that was linked in with Rebecca Warren's commission outside the Henry Moore Institute. It was partnership with 1418 Now, Yorkshire Sculpture Triangle and the HMI, her um, new sculpture, Man in the Dark. And we wanted to develop a project that was really inspired by that sculpture. So this specific YST community engagement programme for 2016-2017 has been working with community groups across Leeds and Wakefield. And what's special about um, Yorkshire Sculpture Triangle and this project is that it's supported by both councils, by both Leeds City Council and Wakefield Council. And I think that's unique in the councils working together in this way.
what I've enjoyed about this project as well, as um, a number of artists have been involved, Paul Digby has been the lead artist and he's done a fantastic job, he's really experienced in working this field. But a large part of this project, as well as the free workshops and um, the sessions in the galleries, has been actually organising the transport and, and for people to visit galleries. For most of the people taking part, they've never been to any of these galleries before, so it's really encouraging movement across the triangle. Figure, process and material is sort of generic to sculpture and, and art practice anyway. So as, a, as an artist who, who does draw and, and, and sculpt and, and, and paint and do all those sort of making art things, I'm able really to, to use that in my own practice. And, and the one in the same in a way really, you know, what, what I make. I, I don't think it's too distant from what people are doing here, really, you know, in essence. So it's ongoing. It's kind of, I see this as part of my practice as an artist, really.